This program contains adult content. Parental discretion is advised. We as Muslims claim that what they have is from God. But the question is, can they prove it? Claims can be easily made. It is the very science of Hadith that's used today in Scotland Yard to solve crimes. It's used by the credit agencies around the world to determine if you're credit worthy or not. It's used by eBay on the internet to decide whether or not you're a good guy or a bad guy. <laughs> Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, now today we have uh, our topic which is about what is authentic in Islam. You know, always, uh, you know, Muslims they have, they have a problem and the problem is very simple. Anything will make Islam look stupid, right away they say it's not authentic. Okay, so when you read the hadith and you do not like it, you say, that is the 1% which I'm talking about. And you read another hadith which you do not digest, you say the same. Uh, it is not a true hadith that uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa forget uh, of uh, any Quran. What do you mean? Sahih Bukhari, uh, a friend, Sahih Bukhari. So are you having doubt concerning the hadith itself or concerning the narration or the chain of the narrators? This is the hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Is uh, not the true hadith. My then, friend, it's Sahih Bukhari. How you can say so, that? So, so in uh, if it was in Bukhari, uh, we don't uh, believe in this hadith. Oh, uh, and, and not, the, uh, under what authority you don't believe in hadith? If the hadith is say Sahih, even it's it's accepted by all the scholars of Islam. And here we go. You are a sheikh. Can you show me one scholar reject this hadith? That Sahih al Bukhari, all the Ummah of Muslim agree that it is the most authentic book after the Quran. Some Muslims have a doubt about Hadith. May Allah guide them. Even though you are reading from their books, from what is approved by them for centuries, from what is written by their hands, collected by their hands, printed by their printing and by their ink, and they themselves they are the one who paid the money to print those books and to preserve them for centuries. So why today those books are not good no more? There are hadiths mentioned in Bukhari and Muslim which contradict with Quran. So how can we expect that this hadith is Sahih hadith? Who are you to start putting doubts in such book? No one. You have no knowledge whatsoever. If you did, you wouldn't have suggested this suggestion. Now, of course, I'm talking about any person who starts putting doubts in the sound hadith of the Prophet Why those books were not good from the beginning? Why Muslims don't refuse them from the beginning? And the proof they don't refuse them, they keep printing them. You know, if I have a book, if somebody says to me, this is a Bible of etc., you know, why I want to print it and hand it over to people in the church? And why I want to put it um, in my school to teach from it? And why I want to learn my belief and my religion from that book, if that book is not an accurate and not valid. Then if you go and search uh, <clears throat> online, if you are not too much educated about Islam, you can search what is authentic books in Islam. You will find that there is six authentic books in Islam. And those six authentic doesn't mean that they are the only authentic, but those are, let us say, the majority of Muslims agree upon them. So six authentic books if we focus on those books alone because the muslim they consider them as the six authentic books as simple as that i mean this is the reason we can't focus on them then we will find that the muslims they start lately denying those six authentic books so what we will do why they are denying those books 
and why they call them in a certain point or for centuries they are authentic. Why do Muslims believe what they believe? I mean, isn't it, isn't it funny? Very good question. But the Quran is not the only source of guidance for Muslims. We also need the Sunnah and the living example of the Prophet Muhammad in order to fully comprehend and understand the religion of Islam. Let me show you a Muslim website so we can take a look. This is an Islamic website as you see. All right. This is not a Christian website. Hashtag Islam hashtag. All right. The six uh, here, Sitta, Sitta in Arabic mean six. So the six as Sahih Sitta. <laughs> I mean, the Muslim website are really funny. Either you want to write in English or you want to write in Arabic. Confuse nations, but this, they are the slaves of the Arab. So, Sahih, there are six authentic books. We got it. Okay. Now, are you sure that those are authentic Muslims? Very good question. Why each time I quote a hadith from those authentic books, you Muslims immediately you deny it, but yet it is listed in your propaganda machine library as authentic. You, you know what I mean? What's wrong with those people? Why they say to us it's authentic if, if they will not accept it? So in their schools, they teach students it's authentic. Between each other, they say it is authentic. But the second we showed them that this books is yours saying etc. About your prophet, it is the same moment they will say to you, it's not authentic no more. And many, many cases like that, it's just uh, that the time won't allow us to discuss it in details. But how can I understand the Quran? How can I understand Islam if I don't know anything about Prophet Muhammad? Peace be upon him. Hmm? Okay. Give you an example. How do I know how to pray? Do Muslims pray every day? Yeah, five times a day. Okay, great. But where do I put my hands when I pray? Which direction do I face? How do I know? Because I'm on the other side of the earth. And ask yourself a question. If those books are not authentic, <clears throat> so why here it says authentic? What do you mean by saying authentic? Either you mean it or you don't mean it. Brother, what is the six authentic books? Uh, brother, uh, let me count them for you. Okay, count them for me, please. Go ahead. Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, so Sahih al-Bukhari is authentic. Yeah, brother, it's what? It is authentic. Okay. Sahih Muslim. Is it authentic? Yes, it's authentic, brother. Sahih Muslim, come on. Uh, Sunan Ibn Dawood, is it authentic? Yes, absolutely. Are you kidding me? Absolutely, my brother. Jami at Turmudi, is it authentic? Yes, absolutely, it's very authentic. Sunan, etc. Yes, it's authentic. Uh, Sunan Ibn Majah, it is authentic. Muatta Malik, it's authentic. So you see here, number six, they they consider two books as number six, as if it's one 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 book, even though they are not. So those are the authentic books of Islam. Now, why Muslims, each time we show them something written in those books, they cry and they fry themselves with no oil. Why they accuse us of lying? You see, do you know what it means that only six writers of Islam are authentic? Do you know what does that mean? Muslim, do you know what does that mean? That means all of you are a bunch of liars. Because out of thousands of Islamic writers and reporters of the Hadith, only six of them are authentic. And then when we show you a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari and you say this hadith is not authentic, isn't it that will lead us to understand that you believe that al-Bukhari was a liar too? When a Muslim, he says to me, in the book of al-Bukhari, there's many false hadith, but yet they call it authentic, which is amazing. Is, it, is, that, is that, that a proof that you are saying to me that al-Bukhari is a liar? Because how come Al-Bukhari, he do not know that this is not authentic and you know? Same time, Muslims, what is the book of Al-Bukhari? You see here, they have for us pictures of the book of Al-Bukhari. But do you know, guys, that there is no such a book, it's called Al-Bukhari? Muslims don't even have one copy for Al-Bukhari. This is not Al-Bukhari. This is not Al-Bukhari. Al-Bukhari, uh, I forgot how many books you have, 97, something like that. Uh, 
بوك اوف نكاح بوك اوف اتسترا بوك اوف بلا بوك 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 اني واي بات اول اوف ذوس بوكس ار نوت ذا بوكس اوف البخاري سم بادي كلايم ذات هي كوبي فروم كوبي فروم كوبي فروم كوبي فروم كوبي هي هيرد فروم 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 هي هيرد فروم فروم البخاري دي دونت هاف البخاري وات اباوت صحيح مسلم نو بادي هاف صحيح مسلم وات ذوس بوكس ار ان فروت اوف اس ذيس از a copy somebody claim that he heard from a copy he heard from a copy from he heard from a copy he heard he heard 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 he heard many heard and then we heard that uh, this hadith so look at this is a crazy religion they don't have an original quran even the quran of muhammad never exist nobody saw it from the muslims the quran of uthman never exist nobody have it in his hand at least for now What the Muslims they have, that somebody claim that this is the book of Uthman, and it is a copy of 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 who 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 copy, and nobody knows where those copies are coming from. And yet the Muslims they complain that the Bible written 60 years after Jesus, the Hadith is not original and nobody have it. The most authentic books of hadith which Sahih Muslim and Sahih Bukhari, nobody have it. So what is left? If Al-Bukhari is false and you have no book of Al-Bukhari, if a book of Uthman, you call it Quran, is not exist, if the book of Muslim is not exist, what about a Sirah? The book of a Sirah, Sirah to Ibn Hisham, Sirah to Ibn Ishaq. Do you know what they say about Ibn Ishaq? Do you guys have an idea? They say he's a scammer. He's a liar. So all the reference coming from this guy and he is a liar and he got his copies from a liar and he get the other one he got his copy from other liar so so what do you have about your prophet books of the biography of Muhammad they are coming from liars according to you so what what is left very dangerous thing actually